Hello and welcome again to another episode of Eat, Smoke, Drink. If you haven't already, please hit the shit out of the subscribe button and ring that bell. Um, today it's a little windy outside, but nothing can keep us away from whiskey. Today I am reviewing the single malt, single malt Scotch whiskey, also known as SMOS of Scotland. So SMOS, single malt of Scotland. This is actually started by a um, rich Indian multi-millionaire billionaire. His passion for whiskey extends years and years, and so he decided, I'm just going to start bottling my own barrels. A dream come true for all whiskey drinkers, I suppose. And today I am reviewing the ind independently bottled Glenburgi or Glenbury. Glenburgi or Glenbury. Um, apparently, you can pronounce it in a couple of different ways. Please let me know if I've gone that wrong and butchered it. This is a Space Side Distillery, age 18 years. There's only 166 bottles, and um, usually Glenburgi, let's just say Glenburgi, is used for Valentine's. So most Valentine's um, blended, blended whiskey um, contains pretty much, uh, this is the majority or the key component of Valentine's blended whiskey. So it's quite a rare occasion for, once again, these kind of um, packing malts to be to be used in this sort of um, drink, a single malt expression, especially a single barrel expression as well. So let's see how we go. My usual, water, no water. Let's nose with no water. Oh wow. <coughs> That's very, very, very fragrant. Mm, that is a really unusual one. It's got a very distinct perfume. I've never really, smelt much like that before it's uh it's a reminiscent of a Mizunara car it's got this really strong strong incense like perfume very very floral but like a sweet floral jasmine ylang ylang lemon peel a bit of lime very citrusy zesty the start of a caramel Mm. Oh, I'm liking the nose so far. I start herbaceousness towards the end, but not much, just a tad. Slight earthiness. A little bit of honey, but not concentrated honey, more like a, you know, putting honey in a toddy. Mm, that's very nice. I'm getting pineapple. Very fruity, very fruity, and but quite a light smell. I want to say light smell. It's a light smell, but the flavors are quite intense, very pronounced. And a little bit of talcum powder, like a baby talc, you know? So I wonder if Johnson & Johnson's will recall that one. Fantastic. Let's try the one with no water. Oh, with water. Sorry, with water. Oh, wow. Mm, that's interesting. With water, the flavor changes quite a bit on the nose. I'm immediately getting more of a brown sugar, like a sugar that's been kind of caramelized a lot more. The lemon peel is still there, the citrus is still there, the zestiness is still there. It's quite crisp. The perfume is definitely there. It's a very unique perfume, actually. Very nice. But it has a really strange earthiness to it once I put a little bit of water in there. Hmm. Let's get tasting. Wow. I mean, 59.8%, it's up there. The barrel isn't very, the barrel is probably relatively tight considering that it's an 18 year old and it's still almost 
there's a little bit of a heat to it but not an unpleasant heat it's definitely going to put some hair on your back mm, I'm getting passion fruit pineapple definitely citrusy I think lemon peel and a bit of lime rind I'm getting a bit of toffee like a light toffee maybe like a English toffee perhaps honey I'm getting liquid honey in there um, very slight spice I'm not sure what that slight spice is coming from or what it is I can't quite describe it um, it's hard but I'll say I'll say the spice and heat could be reminiscent of a candied ginger a candied ginger delicious dram very unique very different it's 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 yeah it's the first time I've ever had it so I, I'm, it's my experience of opening this bottle today it's the first time I've ever had this with you so there you go I'm not getting so much earthiness but I'm getting a, a slight pine resin with it uh, vanilla definitely vanilla and I think this is from probably from the bourbon hogs here that they've used a, a bit of vanilla and that quintessential vanilla coconut essence let's try it with water and see oh wow mm. Mm. wow definitely with water this is a relatively new release if you can still find it do so definitely with water with water it eases the heat flavor comes out the flavor is very similar to both citrus zesty uh, lemon rind caramel toffee a bit of ginger spice a hint of vanilla hint of that coconutty essence but with water, the alcohol subsides, you can really taste the spirit for what it is. The burn almost goes away. That's only three drops in that, in that dram. An outstanding, outstanding dram. My first Glenbergie experience, I am completely impressed. So, look, it's outstanding. I mean, the earthiness with water comes through a little bit more as well. I smelt that as well, but the earthiness comes through. And a hint of smokiness in the back. It's not really, I can't explain it. More of a like a used charcoal slightly slightly smoky but yeah I, I can't I wouldn't say it's a smoky whiskey but when I'm really thinking about it I'm getting a slight smokiness to it very 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 slight but it is outstanding it is delicious it is Moorish I'm, I'm still tasting it the finish is long the finish is sophisticated and complex it is very much it's not a I wouldn't say it's a ch uber challenging whiskey but it's not an easy drinking whiskey either but I could say you could this is this could be a session whiskey. It could be very dangerous. Mmm. Mmm. Floral. Both samples are floral. Definitely jasmine, ylang ylang. Um, floral. Fantastic. Really fantastic. Cigar pairings. Wow. You know what? I, I wouldn't really... I've never tried this with any, any cigars. It's my first time trying it. But I'd say... Um, something quite oily and rich it's, an, it's quite an oily uh, it's quite an oily not oily whiskey it's quite a waxy whiskey and quite intense in flavor but it's not heavy heavy whiskey so I think a heavy cigar would do the trick with this one would those bias again yes I would this is not just my first time trying a Glenbergie it's actually my first time trying the SMOS or Scotch malt of Scotland whiskey Scotch malt of Scotland it's actually my first time trying the bottling as well and I'm quite impressed I'm quite impressed very very good I mean this is my first bottle and yes I would recommend buying it again it's not too expensive uh, you're looking at perhaps about a hundred USD uh, around about that mark probably yeah about a hundred hundred and ten USD not too not not too expensive at all for the value that you're getting 18 years old and the character is extremely extremely nice thank you very much for joining me today and see you again until next time and until then Make sure you eat, smoke and you drink.